Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on SCCM videos. Uh, today is all about taking a Windows 10 machine, right? And installing the Pixie Roll from an SCCM server. Yes. What? This was never possible because you always needed a Windows server based operating system to install WDS to use Pixie. Now with SCCM 1806, you don't need it anymore. You don't need WDS. You're able to install the Pixie Roll within a Windows 7, Windows 8, and a Windows 10 machine. You're not locked down to a Windows server. My environment right now, I am using my SCCM server, duh, right? And I'm using Windows 10 version 1803, which was deployed using SCCM a while back with you guys. So I'm using that machine to deploy the Pixie Roll. Now, right here, I'm just showing you guys that I'm using my Windows 10 machine, and this is the host name with the IP address, okay? This stuff uh, you need when you're installing the Pixie Roll. Uh, I'm going to do a WinR, and I'm going to do a WinVER, because I want to show you guys I'm running version 18.03, and I'm going to go to the control panel, go to configuration manager, and show you guys that this machine is talking to my SCCM server. It has the latest uh, client on it, and it's good to go. And also, within the machine that you're going to install the Pixie Roll, you do need to enable some ports, uh, a couple of TCP and I think UDB ports. So from here, within your control panel, go to Windows, Defender, Firewall, Advanced Settings, Inbound Rules, New Filter, it's going to be a port, click Next. And the specific port that you want to uh, establish here for your TCP, it'd be 445, click Next, Allow Connections, and I'm only going to apply it within the domain part and click next, give it a name. And this is going to be the SMB TCP 445 and click finish. Now you need to do this again. Uh, you need to create a TCP, but the TCP is going to be 135. And the same thing, I'm only going to apply it within my domain. And the last one, again, is going to be 135, but it's going to be a UDP port and I'm gonna lock it down and apply it only to my domain. Now, I'm doing all three of these rules within the host or the machine that I'm going to be installing the Pixie Roll into, okay? Now, back inside my SCCM server, from here I went to Assets and Compliance, I went to Devices, and as you can see, my uh, V Office 2019 machine, which we're going to install the Pixie Roll into, it's live, it's green, it's active, gotta make sure everything is uh, talking to each other correctly. Next thing you need to do is go administration, site configuration, and servers and site system roles. From here, you want to right click on servers and site system roles and go to create a site system server. Browse. I entered my uh, computer name, my host name, which was the Office 2019. Press OK. And you also need to click on the drop down menu to pick your site code then click next. I'm not going to use a proxy server, so I left it as the default, which is disabled. Click next. And we need to pick our DP. That is the role that we want, a DP. So we're gonna check that option, and then click next. From here, for the DP settings, you want to install and configure the IIS, uh, because it's required for the configuration manager, so check that off. I'm gonna click next. Uh, you are able to specify the drive settings for the DP. I left everything as the default, which is 50 megabytes, uh, and everything as automatic. Click next here. From here, I did not enable the DP to pull content from other distribution points, so I just click next. And this is where we need to enable the Pixie support for clients. So check that off. Once you check it off, you're going to get a nice warning of a, a bunch of Pixie requests, UDP ports that need to be enabled. Uh, click yes. And then once you click yes, you have three other options that you need to enable. Now, enable all three of them. Eventually, when you enable one of them, you're going to get a warning. Just click OK. And the second one, you're going to get another warning. Click OK. And then for me, I like to use a password when I'm initiating the Pixie boot. Right? I don't want it to go straight into the Pixie. So for me to establish the Pixie process, you enter a password, and then you pick the task sequence, and then it will continue. Once you enter your password, just uh, click next. And then you're not able to do multicast right now with this particular option. So that's one of the things you're going to sacrifice if you eliminate your WDS within your infrastructure. So click next here. You do want to enable the validate content on a schedule. 
and then click next on that. And then you want to add your boundary groups. So click on add and then add your boundary. So I added both of my boundaries that I have. I click next. You get a nice little summary. Next. It's going to start doing its magic and eventually you're going to get all green check marks and click close. If you go inside monitoring and distribution status, content status, you're going to see a DP configuration status right here. You're going to see that whatever host name you have for me was V office 2019 is green check mark. And if you click on it, you're going to get a nice little status. If you have any issues, like I had a couple of issues because of firewall issues. So I fixed that because of the UDP stuff. So I had to add more stuff to it. I will leave a link at the bottom of the rest of the ports that I enabled, but if everything goes well, you should see all this. If you go back inside your host or where you're installing this DP role, you're going to see within the services a new service called config manager pixie response service and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoy of how to take a windows operating system not a windows server operating system a windows 10 you can do this with a windows 7 and a windows 8 machine and install pixie uh, i think the next video i'm going to show you guys how this works uh, hopefully you guys enjoy leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button and i catch you guys on the next one peace out